Ah, boy. Okay, okay. All right. Today, we're going to talk about a subject that I hate. Hate. Can you say I don't like it? Oh, I can't even say it. Auto CAD. CAD. Okay, Auto CAD. I'm going to show you guys how to export from Revit, the program that actually works fantastically, to the bogus, but sometimes necessary, AutoCAD. Okay, <clears throat> I know. Okay, look, we use Revit, right, to design with, and we use it for our production of our working drawings, and we use it for CA. It's amazing. It's amazing. But sometimes the clients that we work with ask for an AutoCAD. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay. All right. They ask for AutoCAD files as their, um, I don't know, for their archives. They don't know why they're asking for them. They'll never use them nor open them. But they ask. Okay. So let's go there. I'm going to show you how to export. The best way to export um the Revit files to AutoCAD. Okay. All right. So let's reduce my face a little bit here. Hey. Oh, the, oh wait. Hey. That's flashing on and off. All right. <clears throat> I don't like that. All right. I might have to start over. No, wait. There it goes. It's, it's working now. Okay. So let's go. Let's have a plan. Let's say you want to start a sheet. Um, you're going to go to, let's say you want to, here's my sheets. Mm -hmm. And I've got a some drawings here. First floor, second floor, third floor, blah, 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 blah. And I want to export them to AutoCAD because I've taken all the, oh, the time, the grueling time to make this. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. File. If I say export, you hover over it. You don't click on it. And then you hover over CAD formats. You can pick DWG. Okay? So let's just say I'm about to export. Now, take a look. It's going to export this current view, but I don't want that current view. So in this drop down here, you can go to diff in this current session, the different sheets or views. So if I click that, okay? Now, it says show in the list down here all the views in the set. Or look at this, all of the views in the model. Look at that. All of the sheets in the model. Look at that. See, you can see every single sheet. So here we go. Ready? I can say, I'll make that a little bit wider for you. I can check the boxes. Okay. It has the first, the current one that I'm in pre-checked. So you can uncheck that. Okay. Uncheck it. But look at this. <clears throat> you can hit check none before you start. First floor, let's just say I want first, second, third, fourth floor plans to go out. Okay? And I can say next if I want to. Or I can save that as my um like a, a group of drawings. Like I can save that set. Hey, where'd it go? Anyway. <laughs> it's saved and it closed. That's exactly what the button said. Save it closed. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, let me let me come back. Okay, we're going to export CAD. Working backwards? All right. Anyway, they're saved. There they are. One, two, three, four. That's if I had to close. Gosh. Okay, if I hit next, I've got these. I hit next, okay? And what it does is it comes up in your directory structure here um, uh, to where you're going to put it. So, here, let me just show you. Let me make a directory. I'm going to make a new directory. And this is like um, a dentist office. Let's just say I have designed a dentist office, okay? So in the directory for dentist office on your server, <clears throat> you are going to... Um, here, here's one of the tricks. This is going to give it, the, look, the long name of the um, drawings. What I want to do is set this to short, okay? Now, let me just show you what happens with long. Um, <clears throat> the long name, um, 
I can specify a prefix, but it's going to put all the drawings right into this dentist office. And I'm going to show you what happens when I say, I'm just going to leave it on long name, okay? Automatic long, okay? And I'm going to uncheck this box. I'm going to tell you in a minute why. Export the views onto the sheets and link them as external reference. We don't want to do that because you don't want your main drawing. Let me come back. Where's it? You don't, there we go. You don't want your main drawing to be in the file structure and then to have all of the views linked in as XREFs. That's just a big, you're going to have a zillion files in that directory. So let's just back it up and say, don't do that. And it will embed all of your drawings onto the sheets. So you have many less files. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to go back to here. So I'm going to say, okay. And so what it's doing, it's exporting right now to that directory, and it's putting those files in that directory. But it's using long name, okay? <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to open up that directory, and we're going to take a look at those files, okay? So here we go. Mm -hmm -hmm. I open up my documents, and I go in here, and there it is, dentist office. And look what we get. Look at these long names. Now what it's done, well, let me first... Go to type and get rid of these PCP files. Don't need those. You need one maybe to send to the people. Anyway, look, it gave it the project's name and the sheet's name. Now, this is what it looks like. There's the first floor, the project's name and the sheet name. Project name, sheet name. Well, why do I need the project's name every single time? That actually could have been dentist office. But see, we don't want that. Wait for it. I'm going to can that. I'm deleting all those files. I'm going back to Revit. Let's say file, export our um, CAD format drawings. Now watch what happens. Um, if I say I want these drawings, there's actually nothing on the third and fourth floor. So let's just say the first and second floor, I want those. Next. I want those two. I'm going to hit next. <clears throat> and I am going to say, if I do export the views, wait for it. You know, this is going to be a dentist office. There we go. If I do have this checked, watch what happens. It puts all of, it, it'll just put the sheet separate, and it'll put all of those drawings that are onto it into, um, a, as a subset. So you could get, I'm going to go back there, you could get this, ah, and it gets longer and longer. It, it gets really crazy. This sheet here only has this one drawing on it. See, look, it says the project name, it says the sheet name, and then it says the drawing name, uh, the view name that's on that sheet. And if I had like a detail sheet, I could have 50, 30, 50, whatever details all this could be a mess, so don't do this. Let me just show you the easy way. Here we go. Let me delete these again. Bam. Back to Revit. If you want to export your views so that you give the client what they need, but it's less effort on your part, here's how you do it. You would say file. You would hover over export and hover over CAD formats and click DWG. Make sure you pick the sheets you want. And look at this. I can pick, I can pick all my sheets. Woo! -hoo. I'm just I'm clicking my sheets. I can say select all if I want. Select all. Ah, oh my gosh, look at all these sheets. Actually, I don't need the elect. Yeah, I got the electrical sheets in there. Civil. This is great. All my sheets. Makes it super easy for me when I do it the right way. So watch. Next. I click, I put it, I make a directory that I'm putting it into. And then I switch this guy here to short, automatic short. You got me? And uncheck this little box here at the bottom. If you put it on automatic short and uncheck that box, and then you hit OK, all those sheets that I sent out, it's rocking them right now. 
It's slamming them out. I don't know how many there were. I forgot to look. But it's putting all those into that directory. And it's not adding all the views separate. And it's not giving me a thousand files. What it's doing, it's putting one file for each of the sheets into that directory. And it's embedding all the views and all the information on those sheets. I shouldn't have clicked so many because we're only at 50%. Hey, <laughs> I'll remember next time. All right, but I'm just showing you, this is real. Oh, done. Now we go back to that directory. You ready for this? I know you're ready. Here we go. Open, bam, look at that. 101, 102, 103, 104, these. And of course, they, they give you the PCP files that you don't need. Shift. Okay, I'm not going to go delete them, but I wanted to show you what it's doing. It's giving me my drawings, A101, 102, 103. It is putting those on in this directory. In fact, it's still doing it. Hey, that's pretty cool. Because, um, oh, this is, this is the way to do it. And then you can just send this list. These drawings have everything embedded onto them in this one directory. All right, so here, let me just tell you one last thing. Some people have really um, deep directory structures, okay? Some people's directory structures are like, let's just, let's just go. I'll, I'll just start right here. Let, some people have like the, um, mm, like their, their, their company name, I mean, they're, on their directory structure, they've got, the state that they are working that project in. And then the city, you know, a subdirectory for the city. And then a subdirectory for all the projects that they have in that city. And then they've got this file, the files, I mean, the file structure gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And that means longer and longer and longer file names. And if you don't use the short automatic in Revit, you're gonna get file names that are over 260 characters. I'm serious. It happens. And 260 characters will give your computer an error because that is the maximum um, length that a file name can be. And if you've got, I don't know, some, some uh, companies use like the project name and then it, it just, the, just the name of the project and the name of the, the firm that they're working for that their file names get so long and the directory gets so deep that it's over 260 characters and it will mess you up. So, and your, your computer will throw an error. So use short automatic and you should have no problems. All right. If you guys have any questions about exporting to DWG AutoCAD, <laughs> Just um, let me know, and I'll try to address those issues. All right? Happy reveting. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. How do you turn this off?